matcha powder. New this morning, the way people are applying for jobs is changing. For one, once popular job sites like Monster and Career Builder are now filing for bankruptcy after falling out of favor with job seekers to other job sites like Indeed and LinkedIn. Now, the other big change is the use of artificial intelligence. It's become a tool used by job seekers and employers alike. On one end, it can help folks build up their resumes, but on the other end, it's screening out those applications. And new this morning, 7 News Detroit reporter Jolie Sherman is raising the voice of a local woman who says using AI has made a significant difference in her job search. Chelsea Jordan will be the first to tell you finding a well-paying job in Metro Detroit has been difficult. What has your experience been like? So I've actually been applying for jobs for the past like year, about a year. The mother from Inkster says she's applied for at least 100 jobs in the past 12 months and wasn't getting any calls back. But that changed once she started using artificial intelligence to enhance her resume. I'm getting more interviews now than I was before I was using AI. And she's not alone. A recent study conducted by the recruiting agency Kelly Services shows that out of a thousand job seekers in the U.S., nearly 80 percent are using AI in the application process, with most of them using it to build resumes and find openings, while others are using it to write cover letters and prepare for interviews. I'm a creative writer too, so I like to, you know, get a little creative, but then sometimes it's like, okay, you have to just get to the point, making sure you pull out the things that they're looking for, those numbers and, you know, results. Results, I think is what many of them are looking for. But it's not just job seekers using AI. Some hiring managers are using it too. That same study found that out of roughly a thousand managers in the U.S., 66 percent say their company uses AI to screen applications. From a hire manager standpoint, they want to use AI to get to things faster. I want to be able to look at resumes faster, interview faster, right? But I still want to make the decision. Mark Saltrelli, Vice President of Engineering and Recruiting at Kelly Services, says at the end of the day, you still need to make sure you are who you say you are and be able to talk about your experiences. To, to really differentiate yourself, you still need to have the people aspect. You still need to validate that you've done the job well um, and others can refer you into it. But Chelsea Jordan says sometimes the hardest part is just getting past those automated screenings. It was how I was formatting it and like the terminology I was using. It looks good in general, but for this specific job, if it's going to get through to a person, it has to say specific words. So I think it just kind of opened my eyes up a little more of like, I guess for lack of a better term, the job search can be a game <laughs> um, that you have to play, unfortunately. And I think that AI has helped me do that.